Hey, it's Mike back to show you some more fun and interesting stuff in Warren County, New Jersey. We're in Harmony Township on the Warren Highlands Trail. So this is a section here that I like to refer to these places by their historic names. If we look right over here, that's Route 519. And that swath of trees that you see right there goes all the way across over this way. That was historically the Boyer Farm, as per the 1874 Beers Atlas of Warren County. So about straight ahead is where the homestead used to stand. And that was there in 1874. I've been told it's a brick home. And that it was not just demolished, it was actually lifted up and moved to Morgan Hill, Williams Township area in uh, Pennsylvania. I don't know where exactly the house is. I'd love to figure that out, but that's uh, supposedly the case. The barn used to be over here. We can tell by the ruins that are over in there that the bar su barn suffered a fire at some point because there are charred timbers still in place. Now, while you're driving this section of Route 519 between Belvedere and Phillipsburg, you wouldn't know it, but we have a trail right up here. The Warren Highlands Trail does this because there's a field right over here. We're looking up onto the Harmony Ridge, Ragged Ridge is beyond. And when you put a trail along the edge of a field, it either has to be mowed or you have to depend on them to cut it back. And they usually just till and plant right up to the edge, which means it's very hard to, uh, to try to navigate the trail. So I came through here and uh, laid out a trail that would take a little less clearing inside the canopy so it doesn't grow in too badly. Whenever you see a double blaze, it means to turn. The upper blaze points you in the direction to turn. We got a left turn over here. Oh, and look, there's a right turn. So it meanders a little bit through this nice little wooded field edge here. And it uh, doesn't have a whole lot of canopy, so it can be a little bit of a job to keep it clear, but it's better than the field edge section. So that's the one problem there. And then the other reason for putting it over here was the fact that we've got an issue with, uh, I'm going to come with a chainsaw and clear this. I'm going to cut a log, put little traction steps in there so you can step on it without slipping as easily. Um, like this one right here. So this was an old field access road, but at some point they started dumping stuff down it. So we got a couple little stone steps in here, okay? And it picks up where the little roadway is intact. So another reason to come out this way, instead of at the edge of the property where it turns further up, is line of sight. When you're planning out a trail, you gotta have a safe crossing spot. So, here, a good line of sight in both directions. So, you can come walking on through without having to worry about getting hit. Um, originally, the trail was planned to uh, go up along 519 where there's no shoulder and there's no public land to get off on. So, when there was enough land over on this side, we figured we could put the trail in over this way. And uh, we first scouted this in uh, 2020. Um, came out through here with two friends, uh, Deidre from Parks and Dave Deck, who's the head of the Warren County Planning Department. Deidre is always game for anything that's going to help the parks. And Dave, even though he's the head planner, I like to make fun of him a lot, but he's... Uh, He's no milk toast or anything. He comes out here and he actually helped to drag all the branches off while I was cutting them. And uh, he and the, uh, the planning department and really all the office staff involved in, uh, in, in the Warren County Department of Land Preservation and Planning Department have been very supportive of this trail going through. So it's great I have these friends in these places I can call them up and say hey what are you doing Here's the trail work and there he, he comes out so it comes out in the fields here and you have these posts 
tell you where you got to turn when it gets to these field edges here. Uh, you got to come from this way to the left. And that way to the right. And then the trail goes down along this field edge under the power line. And out along the field, it cuts downhill and then goes along a branch to Buckhorn Creek. But I'm going to show you something else over here. So the house would have stood over in here. We're going to go over here into the foundations. Still a lot of old junk in here. There's tires. Eventually I want to get in here and clean this stuff up. Here's some uh, building remnants in here. And uh, obviously the cinder block stuff is all pretty new. But the old stone here dates back to the, uh, the 1800s. Got an intact doorway here. There's some of this nice old masonry from the building. I'm going to sneak right through this nook here between the autumn olives. Here we are inside where the barn stood. Some nice uh, stone walls here. Uh, and over here is the cool stuff. Right here is the, uh, the old root cellar. I'll make sure there's no animal in there. Whoa! Hello. We're clear here, right now. So, it's almost like a, a corbelled style roof in here, arched. And it's a beautiful remnant of, uh, of the old farmstead that used to be here. So, there you have it. This is just off the Warren Highlands Trail. And again, this used to be part of the Boyer Farm, as per the 1874 Beers Atlas. Very cool stuff. So, as always, thanks for watching, and uh, hopefully we'll see you out on the trail. Or if not... We'll see you right here online. Later.